we're talking about an emotional attachment and an emotional bond that was created between the child and his abductor. So it makes it difficult to move away from um, that person. It makes it difficult then to go out and try to alert someone that I'm not supposed to be here. Um, it's very, very much similar to um, uh, children who have been abused and still cling to the abusive parent or um, you know, spousal abuse where the person may go to work and come back every day and you say, well, why don't that person leave? But you stay in because of that, you know, um, feeling afraid of that your life is threatened and being spared all at the same time. You know, your life is in this person's hands. The longer that you have a child who is away, who is bonded in an emotional way um, to this uh, individual, the more, um, the harder, you know, that um, bond is to, to break and to, to get them to separate from that. Whether it's four years or four days, it's still trauma that they have experienced. And so their world as they knew it and how it was will no longer be that way for them. Because one of the things as you were talking about just in terms of the short term is to look at um, the issue as it relates to trust, safety, control. Those kind of things are really important to make sure that we work at um, getting that back into the child's life so he can live as normal a life as possible as he goes through his adolescent years.